So, 21 years in the game, man. How does it feel to have a show everywhere you go, you sell out, people still singing a thong song, people still singing every song that you hear? Dude, it's, it's a blessing. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing short of a blessing. Okay, which one of these? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that um, it's even cooler when like some of the younger uh, kids are um, you know, out there and you know, start to like, pick up our music and stuff like that. But no can talk the best about it. I mean it's just I mean it's a blessing for real, you know, that you know, we were able to make timeless music, you know, that the the people around us cared enough to, you know, help us become the artists that we are today. And I have to ask a question. When y'all first got in the group together, it was rumored that you and Cisco used to fight all the time. Why is that? Hey, happy birthday. Happy, all right. <laughs> like boxing matches. So, like, I really want to know. I'm going to tell you the, the reality <laughs> that people don't know. It's like, he, Cisco, was like my replacement in the group. Okay. And our boy, Bravet, was like, you know, I decided like I was gonna come back and he was like, Man, y'all ain't never gonna get along. Like y'all like both of y'all like y'all the same person. And we just and we just fought until, you know, we didn't feel like fighting no more. Right. <laughs> no, actually cause Jet said he was gonna whip our ass if we mm -hmm. kept fighting. <laughs> it's so, you know what's so funny though? It reminded me of like the um, what's that movie? I'm trying to think like Bob Heartbeat. Bob Heartbeat. And oh, there, I was so. watching this old clip of y'all on. Um, it was BT. a it was like BT was like and y'all were coming down the stage. So he took off his shirt. So then you turned around and took off your shirt. So he got out to the audience and people were reaching for him. So you went all the way into the audience and talking about. I'm like, these dudes are like the five heartbeats are real. Like but you know what? It's like the first reality That's show. That's what show. Twenty four hours of Drew Hill. But but but, the, but it's like. The thought of it isn't that like it like that's the like that's the perception, but the thought of it is just like that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? It's just like like alley oop like the whole show. Like right, like doing. when he jumped off the stage today, and then he jumped off the stage, and then Jazz jumped into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, man, you still have an incredible yeah. voice. Thank you, man. It's a blessing. I saw you guys on the Soul Train Music Awards, hey. man. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, um, did you see the crowd, though? Right. I now, did see the yeah, crowd. Now, now they're trying to get us on the BT Awards. They love you, yes. Everybody's like, oh. Matter of fact, I remember seeing y'all. I had to be 12 years old. Y'all came to Dallas to the and Chocolate you know, Factory. Come on, man. Come on, come on. <laughs> no. See? No. See? But still, though, still, though, y'all no, were young, you know, though. Y'all were like 18, 19, though. This is when y'all yeah, first got on. Yeah. And y'all like was 18, was 19 the, now. Yes, but yeah, you kind of are, like. And y'all was at the Chocolate Factory, like. Man, like so the, little, make the little place where they make like chocolate. Get that money. The fudge place, yes. The, the budgery. Yeah. Can y'all turn that camera on? The fudge <laughs> So y'all used to sing all the time through while y'all was making fudge. Well, I mean, it was just like part like, of the job detail. Yeah, I mean, that was part of the we job. We were entertaining candy, man. And it was easy. It was an easy way for us to make money. Because our parents weren't trying to hear nothing about making, not making no money, and we could rehearse. <laughs> so we had to do something, you know. That's like the first we kept the lifeline for a little while. Yeah. Now you gotta tell me on the concepts for the videos, whose idea was that? Like one where you pouring wax down your uh, chest. Lord, how you just go to write that? I, I mean, because you always do sexy stuff in the that, video. I did that. I did that. No, no, we were, we were at the, we were. Um, we were at the point of um, shooting our individual parts of the video, and I was like, man, go get me some candles from the Gap, but you got to get them from the Gap. I knew it was a Gap near where we were. I was like, you got to get candles from the Gap. That's like, you're going to be crazy. I'm like, but I knew that the, 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 the wax from the candles from the Gap didn't burn. Whatever. So I just like. How did you know that? Because. Because some cougar was like, it would look good if you poured that wax on him. You know. And I was just like, I'm gonna like pour that. the wax on him. No, it was sexy though. It was sexy. I wasn't supposed to know nothing about that back then. No, because he was like a teenager. Like, yeah, what is he doing with this wax? Walk with us. Wax cougars. Wax. That's cougars for you, baby. So uh, y'all still got the cougar situation? Women still oh, yeah. throwing their panties on the stage? Oh, Sorry, let me stop playing. <laughs> they, they still, still throwing the panties on the stage? Yeah, they still around. <laughs> Can't live without. The performance, yeah. huh? Oh yeah. Sending a dollar, yeah. 
Thank you. You're welcome, David.